Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for October 12th, 2023. Well, yesterday we had another one of those insipid days of price action where we just kind of chopped around. If it were not for big tech, it would probably would have been a very different day, but the big tech giants, the Magnificent Seven, continued to move on up. And this morning we are pushing on higher. I don't know if anyone else feels like this is just a little bit odd that we're pushing up heading into a GDP number, uh, excuse me, a CPI number after a PPI number that was, well, not all that good for us, but we're doing it this morning. So um, um, Asian markets higher across the board last night. Uh, European markets also very bullish this morning. UK is seeing uh, GDP growth and we're seeing the bond yields falling this morning ahead of the day of that. Despite the fact that we still have tremendous geopolitical issues to worry about, we've got the UAW strike widening, we've got issues um, showing up where Goldman Sachs is warning that they're going to take a hit on their earnings, um, and yet, boy, it's buy, 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 buy here all of a sudden. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in, let's buckle up, let's get ready for the Thursday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. Let's take a look at these charts and try to remove all of our bias and see if we can gain some information about how we may want to approach the market for today. Well, as you can see, and I am recording this uh, video kind of early, it's 5.30 a.m. here Central Time. Uh, taking a look at the chart, as you can see, we've got the bulls pushing through here this morning, really fired up, wanting to push on higher. Um, so let's watch if we can continue this throughout the morning um, after we get the data, then let's look right in here and see if we can push right up into this major level of price resistance for the Dow. If we were to break through that, then we're probably challenging the downtrend here in the Diamonds chart. So keep a close eye on that. Um, you know, yesterday after we got the PPI data, we, we, we pulled back. So if we get uh, data that would um, not be as stellar as, uh, you know, everyone seems to be hoping that the CPI data will be, then um, look for some kind of a reversal. Um, I would expect some kind of a gap this morning. Already we're gapping up. We could easily reverse if the data does not support this move. Or if it does support the move, we can extend that gap here this morning to the upside. If the bears find inspiration, well, you can see the next price support here in the chart. High likelihood we will come back down and test that level here in the chart. And then we'll look to see if we can push on through um, that level if the bears really get inspired. Maybe pushing back down into this area of the chart, there's a little bit of price support in there. So watch carefully for that. If the um, we look at our moving averages in here, you can see we've been and struggling with the 200 day moving average can't seem to do it during the day but overnight we're getting these bounces to the upside and so we'll watch right in here as we stretch up here um, toward that 34 EMA see if we can hold that 200 day um, after the data today so watch that carefully then let's take a look at our spy SPY looking at that SPY you can see we've got quite a bounce going on here this morning. We've been struggling with this resistance level in the chart. And even though big tech has really been very, very helpful to the SPY, we haven't been able to really crack through there. Well, this morning we're gonna do it all in once in the pre-market and try to gap through this area in the chart. So watch that closely. If the bulls can continue to push through this area um, after the data this morning, where's the next level? Well, it's right up in here 
right through here is going to be that next level up that we'll want to be paying attention to in the chart. I'm going to actually grab this line and just run it right up there so we can kind of keep an eye on that. That would be that next level above if we can continue to push. That would be right into that downtrend. Now if the bears, if for some reason the data does not support this bullish move this morning and the bears come in look for a retest of this support area in the chart and if we were to gap through that in the open well then i think we're probably back down in this area of the chart testing some of these support levels right through here and perhaps right through here in that spy chart our moving averages as you can see we made a nice move um, um, here yesterday just kind of hanging in there on that uh, 34 EMA and this morning we're trying to bump right on up there and test that 50-day moving average so we we'll want to be watching that the 50-day moving average is a natural resistance area but if the data is good enough today we perhaps just pop right on through remember we have not had any kind of a pullback to confirm any higher low in here. This is just that race back to the upside. So that makes this very, very dangerous. And if we were to catch a point, we can even pop through that 50. We've seen that before. Pop through that 50 and then lose it all all at once because we haven't had any kind of pullback to test any level of support in the chart. So you will want to keep that in mind. That said, let's just jump on over here and let's take a look at our uh, QQQ. QQQ by far the strongest of the indexes. Pushing up here, um, and we held on to these August lows. Um, consolidated in there and then with quite a bit of volatility and then just pushed on through um, hard to the upside with big tech leading the way. Now as we look at this major resistance level in the chart we've got a um, resistance um, across here we've got the downtrend in the chart that we'll have to be paying attention to so I would suspect this move today and by the way if I remove all of these uh, drawings in the chart you'll see we're pushed right up there into that downtrend so we'll want to watch that carefully right up here we're going to be testing that first thing this morning if this holds in the pre-market in that gap up watch that carefully that entire area will be a fairly substantial resistance if the data is good enough however perhaps we'll just pop right on through as if it wasn't even there leaving a gap behind if the bear uh, bears come up with some kind of inspiration well this is a very logical place where they would run into some issues here and if that were the case then look for that pullback uh, possibly down into this support level of the chart so watch carefully for both of those i think anything is possible this morning the way the market's acting if we take a look at the moving average here on the QQQ, well, we've pushed right through those 50-day moving averages, and here's that danger. We've seen this before where we can push through and then prove not to hold. So one of the things I want to see is I want to see us, if we're going to push through and just continue to rip to the upside, we need some kind of rest consolidation or pullback in here to show us proof that we're going to hold, and that establishes an upside trend. Keep in mind, if we continue to stretch up, we run out of that energy to continue to do that. This is a very, very steep trend, and it's unlikely to be sustained for very long. So be careful in chasing into this. You don't want to be the last one in the door on a move like that. Let's take a look at our IWM. IWM by far the weakest of the indexes really not overall impressed but the nice thing that's happened here is we've broken that downtrend finally and you can see yesterday we had a little bit of back and forth in here we did come back down and retest that little support area and bounce off of it so this morning little bullishness here is not um, um, all that big a surprise um, so we'll watch this area here in the chart if the bulls can continue to push perhaps we can push all the way up into here into that major resistance area in IWM. If the bears come up with some kind of inspiration here today, then we'll be looking for that possible reversal, coming back down to retest this support. And if that breaks, well, you can see where we go from there. Um, let's take a look at those moving averages here on IWM. IWM pushing up here today, 
Um, and you can see we've got a 34 EMA above. Notice the 50-day moving average is crossing down through the 200. Um, what you know, they call that the um, death cross um, in the market. Obviously, the most bearish of the indexes out there. And we'll want to watch that pretty closely. Let's take a look at our VIX here this morning. Our VIX pulling back here uh, nicely at the end of the day yesterday. We had a little bit of a surge to the upside, pulling back, kind of coming in right on this um, support area of the chart. And I would suggest with the bullishness that we're seeing this morning, we're going to gap down through that if this holds up into the open. So we'll gap down through. We may be right back down in here testing around the 14 handle area um, early on this morning if the bulls continue to uh, find inspiration here today. However, if we get that um, ugly reversal type situation um, in the pre-market, then watch for that potential that we bounce off of this area and we may be pushing back up here to test this resistance in the chart. Let's take a look at our T2122. Now our T2122 pulled back pretty dramatically yesterday and we ended up just a little bit above the mid area of the chart with the bullishness that we see this morning in the pre-market i'm going to guess that we're going to see if that holds into the open we're going to see t2122 up here near um, overbought or in the overbought region of the market because we have stretched this um, relief rally so hard so that being said um, if the data comes in good today, we might just bounce right straight up there. And that also creates an issue because oftentimes we can get that big gap on um, an upside data point like that and then realize that we're really running into resistance and everybody starts taking profits and then we pull back. I'm not going to try and predict that's going to occur, but I'm going to say there's a really good chance we could reach the overbought situation here in T2122 today. If the bears find inspiration, of course, well, we can see where we were headed yesterday. Wouldn't be all that uh, big of um, surprise if the data is bad that we start pushing back down to relieve some of that um, kind of wild bullishness that we've seen in this relief rally to the upside. So watch that carefully. Our uh, T2108, well, T2108 had a nice day yesterday lifting up, but you know, we have to remember that what we're we're seeing is a lot of the big tech doing all of the lifting. There is still a lot of charts not performing here in the market. We can see that in this indicator with a percent of stocks above the 40 day moving average. Yes, we did rally back, but you'll notice it really wasn't all that impressive. 31% of the stocks above their 40 day moving average. It's a nice improvement. Don't get me wrong, but we're still in these major areas of price resistance in this chart. We're going to need something uh, big in the data, perhaps, to continue to push us up. Or maybe we just see the bonds fall all apart. I don't know. But we'll want to watch that carefully here uh, today, just realizing that we may be reaching um, kind of an overstretched condition um, in the market. If we take a look at our T2107, T2107 also rallying, but again, really not all that impressive um, compared to the price action that we're seeing. Percentage of stocks above the 200 day moving average, so we're up around 38% um, now, getting 37.91, but we're up around 38%, just kind of keeping in mind we've got a lot of resistance above in the chart. So we just haven't seen widespread buying in the market um, yet. We're, we're really led by um, the tech giants pushing us up. So keep an eye on that. If this, um, if this were to um, uh, continue to push through, let's watch these resistance levels in the chart. Maybe we'll finally break that downtrend here in T2107. If the bears find inspiration, well, um, we know what happens then. 
Let's take a look at our T2101. Here's one of the problems that we've been dealing with is we're not getting the breadth follow through on the buy side. So when the buyers are coming in, they're not being able to really stretch. They're not being really engaged. And that's understandable because of all the uncertainty that we have ahead of us. What is odd is that they can seem to do it overnight. They can't seem to do it during the day. So perhaps that changes. And during the market day, perhaps uh, if the data is good, we will push on through here on a buy side breadth and really start moving this up. However, if the bears find inspiration in the data today, um, we might just um, go the other direction. So watch that carefully. Let's take a look at our economic calendar here for today. Our economic calendar um, is what we've been talking about all morning and that's going to be this CPI number coming out today. Now, consensus estimate is looking for the month over the month to decline, but as we saw in the, the PPI, it didn't decline as much as they had hoped, and the year over year actually went higher. So um, we could certainly see that same kind of data here in the CPI today watch carefully for that. Remember, we also heard yesterday that the FOMC plans to keep rates higher longer. So um, maybe no increase, but keep rates higher longer means that there is likely more pain um, coming in the market. So keep, keep a close eye on that. And then we've got jobless claims, and that has been problematic for us. Those jobless claims are not moving up as the Fed would like to see. And remember, if we continue to see that jobs market being really strong, that's also going to add to the weight um, of the FOMC continuing to hold rates higher. So watch that. Um, after that, we've got a um, natural gas and probably more importantly the petroleum status number will be coming out. Last week we saw a surprise build in gasoline supplies. Now if that continues today, those gasoline distillates, if, if we continue to see those expand, that is a warning sign that the consumer is pulling back. We'll want to watch that closely here today. Um, and that could drive oil prices down if that number continues to go up even though we're seeing those oil supply numbers uh, continuing to be weak. Uh, the distillates would be very telling about our cons consumer. Drive oil prices lower and uh, we'll want to watch that number pretty closely here today. That could be market moving. Um, after that point, we've just got some bond auctions. We've got some Fed speakers in there. We've got a 30-year bond auction today. Treasury statement will be coming in here at the end of the day, which nobody seems to be paying attention to. Um, we've got Collins right there at the end of the day, and then we've got a Fed balance sheet after the close. By the time we get through that, we're going to be thinking about the big bank earnings report on Friday and the kickoff to earnings season and we've already had a warning from Goldman Sachs that they do not report tomorrow but Goldman Sachs is saying that they could take a hit to their earnings um, it's been a tough season for the bank so it's going to be interesting to see how they report tomorrow we will be um, also dealing with import export prices we've got hawker speaking we've got consumer sentiment um, that we'll be paying attention to um, tomorrow as well so watch that closely of course the geopolitical situation that we see in israel and expanding over there we'll want to watch that pretty closely because remember right now the market has done a really good job of ignoring that situation it is not a good situation um, that could easily get out of control and although the market is um, uh, seems to be blissfully ignoring it right now um, any news event could change things really quickly so make sure you kind of keep an eye on that Let's take a look at our um, earnings calendar for today. In our earnings calendar, we do have a few notables. We've been really light on those earnings, but today we've got a few to pay attention to. So we've got Delta Airlines that will be reporting today. You can see they've been moving, obviously, in a pretty substantial downtrend. We're trying to hold a little bit of price support in this area. So this could be an important report this morning. Watch that carefully. We've got uh, Domino's. Whoops, got to get the right symbol. We've got Domino's reporting today. Um, 
keep an eye on this. Obviously, this has been kind of breaking down here just a little bit. And again, that weak consumer uh, starting to be an issue in a lot of the uh, retail um, areas and even the service industries um, out there starting to show that pressure now. Been in this downtrend, so watch that closely. This could be really important for Domino's today as well. We're going to get maybe a little bit of clue of what's happening in the building sector or sector with Fastenal today. Fastenal obviously been moving in a downtrend, but has rallied back up to test that downtrend heading into the earnings report. We have additional resistance in the chart, but remember, a good earnings report can pop us right through there pretty easily or it could tell us, um, define pretty clearly whether um, building is slowing down and um, a move lower here would be very telling. So watch that close today. We've got um, SGH that will be reporting today. That's also been in a downtrend, but this is more of a pattern that's kind of a, well, uh, wait and see. We're trying to hang in here and push on up. This could be an interesting report for SGH. I don't think this would be a market moving report though, but watch that one close. And then WBA. WBA had a good bounce yesterday because of a um, CEO change. Um, we've got a nice inverted head and shoulders pattern in here. I've been watching this for a potential buy and um, you can see pulling back just a little bit in the pre-market as we wait for that earnings report but watch that closely this is a nice break of the downtrend this is a very oversold condition for wba perhaps we can get some buying going in here and that could lift up if if uh, the earnings are good if not well we might break this entire pattern and head lower so keep an eye on wba today Let's take a quick look at some stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, everyone, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be useful or helpful, if you could do me that quick favor, and that would be click that thumbs up button, leave a brief comment. That helps the channel to continue to grow. I just want to say thank you so much to everyone who does take the time to do that. I truly, truly appreciate it. It means the world to me. And um, I'm, I'm just I'm so humbled by all the kind comments that are left on the videos. Thank you very, very much. Let's take a look at some of these stocks setting up. And remember, guys, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. You've got to make sure and do your own due diligence. Be very, very careful in this market. I expect um, pretty substantial volatility this morning, potentially whipsaws, big gap up, big gap down. So make sure you're planning your risk carefully, following your trading rules, and never ever blindly follow anyone else's trade idea. Well, first off, let's take a look. As you guys remember, I've been mentioning TLT and the possibility of a short squeeze. And you are seeing that play out here as the bonds pull back pretty sharply. Will it continue? I don't know. What I'd really prefer to see, honestly, is we break that downtrend. We've got the first step done. Now let's prove that we can hold some area of support. And then I'm going to be probably backing up the truck to buy up a bunch of uh, TLT here for the upside. I've got a small position just so I can keep an eye on it, but watching that closely because just imagine if this starts to really rally back up and the market is suddenly going to turn bullish, then uh, let's take advantage of that, make some money here. So keep an eye on uh, TLT. Um, we might also want to keep an eye, take a look at Abercrombie. My goodness, um, I cannot type the right symbol today. Um, Abercrombie moving up here very, very sharply. This was a beautiful um, setup here where we pulled back. If you remember, we talked about this, this nice little pullback holding support stretching on up here in the chart. Now, I wouldn't want to chase it here, but this is one of the retailers doing very, very good where most of them are doing, uh, they're just awful. But watch that carefully as we push up here, maybe a rest coming into this trade soon, and then look for that next opportunity to the upside. How about WDC? As you know, I mentioned 
WDC um, this week. I think I talked about it yesterday, if I recall. Um, I've been mentioning the fact that we've got this big resistance area in the chart, but this is beautiful in the way it's holding this trend. And yesterday it found those buyers. We bounced down into here, pushing back up. Nice little buy signal in there. If we can push on through this resistance up here and hold, I suspect there's some big upside coming in uh, WDC if that holds this major breakout. So keep an eye on that. Looking pretty good there overall. We have been seeing um, some really good stuff, obviously, in uh, the big tech giants. I've been mentioning that. Google um, continuing to stretch to the upside. Now, I wouldn't want to chase this in any way, shape, or form um, at the moment. But uh, rest or pull back in here to hold that higher low then we've got something we can maybe work on. Remember, we broke the support and went down, and now this is just a straight up run. So we need some kind of support to show us in here that we can hold it um, before we move um, too aggressively into that trade. If you're already in it, congrats, it's looking great. And then we're starting to see um, some of the other big techs te test their uh, downtrend levels, their resistance levels in the chart. This could be a key uh, place in the chart where we either turn around and fail and continue to follow that downtrend or we make that leap to hold that higher low to move on higher. So watch that closely in Microsoft. Um, Apple doing the same thing, coming back up here to test this downtrend in the chart. We'll see if it can bust through all of this resistance, but watch that carefully. This easily could turn into the next short trade, so watch that closely here. Boy, I tell you, I've been keeping an eye on some of these defensive sector um, and um, uh, healthcare sector stocks. Um, take a look at Pfizer. Boy, Pfizer keeps trying to hold this higher low and just can't seem to find enough energy to move. This has been extremely sold down. This is a very big level. Here, I'm gonna to go to a weekly just to show you how big a price support level this is that we're setting on here in that chart. Let me get a line in there. Big, big area of price support that we're setting in here. And I just got that feeling that we're gonna get um, a little bit of upside coming into this chart, but just not yet, it's not there. So watch this closely. If this continues to slip lower, that could be a problem. But if we can hold a higher low in here, you can see we've got a little bit of that inverted head and shoulders pattern uh, forming in it there. A neckline break along that area could be very telling for some upside maybe coming in to Pfizer. Keep an eye on that. Um, other retailers like Walmart, boy, really came into quite a bit of struggle here just recently, breaking this um, big upside trend as we pull back. Notice right in here we have that downturn going and we're rallying back into this area of price resistance. I would keep an eye on this. Although this is coming up on earnings on uh, next month, this may easily find that resistance and pull back in that chart. So keep an eye on Walmart. And I think you could um, say the same here for Target. Target has been rallying back up, trying to get a little love coming into it. And we do have that, well, a little hint of an inverted head and shoulders pattern in that chart. But I would watch carefully as we approach that resistance in the chart. Um, Target really struggling here, like many of the retailers. There could be some more downside coming in that as that rallies back. Um, Let's take a look at the US dollar, UUP. UUP has been pulling back here. Now this is gonna be good for the market, but notice we tried to get something going there yesterday back to the upside and we're kind of flat here this morning, despite the fact that bonds are pulling back. Breaking this trend is important. We need to continue to see that trend break. If this dollar starts surging back up, that would be negative here for the market. But that happening, if you take a look at some of gold and silver um, stocks out there, they have been rallying back up strongly. Um, we're, we are pushing into some resistance areas of the chart, They've been coming up strongly. Watch those resistance areas. If the dollar starts surging back up, these might start pulling back. So watch that carefully in some of those miners. So with that, everyone, hey, I need to break this video off. I'm running out of time. 
Um, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. Wish you very great results in your trading today. Be careful, be safe. Anything is possible this morning. Fingers crossed for whatever position that you're in that it is bullish or bearish, whatever you are thinking today, and you'll have great results. Wish you all the best. See you bright and early tomorrow morning. Take care, everyone.